You are welcome to the Mirror TV. We offer you news, local, national, and international, on politics, religious, and social cultural events, project work documentary, live documentary, and a lot more. Contact us today and do not forget to subscribe to our channel so as to get our updates on daily basis. Of the area, so immediately uh, begin drilling bonehole at that marketplace. There's a big market at that they call the Mibokote market, and that has to take place immediately. Then we have also, uh, in the view of the fact that this is already an outbreak, we don't want a celebrated burial at the moment. And then uh, effort is on course to lecture people on preventive uh, mechanism to ensure that it doesn't happen again, such as. Uh, uh, trying to boil your water, you wash your hand very well, and you don't expose what you eat to house flies and all of that. So the team is doing amazing work. What we are doing now is campaign. We are not just curtailing the outbreak itself, but we are now an aggressive campaign uh, within the local government to ensure that everybody is up and doing because prevention is better than cure. So preventive measure is on is on is on course to ensure that it does not escalate even down to other villages. So the campaign is on. Yesterday we were at Iziogo. We do campaign. We've been in churches and we are doing village by village campaign. We are also mobilizing and talking with all the town, you know, president. One is even here, speaking with the village head across the, the local government to ensure that uh, strong mechanisms, uh, preventive uh, measures are on ground to ensure this doesn't happen again. And it is not a, a one-off thing. We will continue, and as we continue to propagate the preventive issues with respect to uh, cholera, we're also combining it with campaign on Lassa fever because we know we're also drifting towards the Mba month where we experience stuff like that within this IG. So it is a, a two-way traffic. It's a double barrel, uh, double barrel approach we're giving to it to ensure that it doesn't happen. We are very proactive, and we will stay in the village until everything is resolved that there will be no celebrated burial at the moment when once uh, for those who are passed on uh since yesterday the the, the body is disinfected and then the materials uh the, that the disease body had contact with disinfected and it is prepared in a manner that is allowed by the medical ethics before the person is just quietly lower to the mother earth there is nothing like a celebration and all of that just about two or three people are allowed to bury the diseased thereafter they can um, observe the traditional pattern of uh, giving a defeating barrier to a departed uh, loved one so that is what we are doing right now it's not not that i mean uh, not a uh, coloria or, or something like that so what we saw is that people are complying we have a very effective a campaign there and the uh, people we, they also demonstrated the teaching there i think they are willing to comply we also left uh, commodities even with the small small medical practitioners within the village so that they can give uh, first uh, first aid treatment while they bring and don't forget we have designated designated three centers we uh, as uh, emergency treatment unit the strength United hospital is is one they have left commodities we were there with a the commissioner for for health yesterday and um, and all of us and then we are also designated Sudan United Hospital in we, we looked at the manpower, we look at resources, we look at uh, all of the things that can allow us to designate it and also here now. So these three centers is enough, are enough for us to do a proper coordination so it won't be spitted all over the place and we also have given money to bike men in this village and here too that any time there is a, a distress call, they should swing into action and bring the person here. So and we are supervising it also. We are also supervising what is going on. Not that we give instructions and we are loose. Thank you very much. Tuned as we keep updating you in news reportage and lots more. Please, don't forget to subscribe now and drop your comments below. Benita Olise, The Mirror TV. You can call us on 0816519194646. I take that again. Call us now on 0816519194646 for your products or business adverts, live documentary, project works, or social cultural events. The Mirror TV, we stand to give you the best.